All right, what's up guys? I'm um, just going to quickly show you how to install 620 Pro B9 permanent patch on uh, any PSP model. 1000, 2000, 3000, and PSP Go. If you have a PSP 3000, this is only going to work if you're uh, a 3G or a 4G module. Uh, anything else, 7, 9G, you cannot do this. You can do it on a 5G. Uh, there is hope for 9Gs. I'll make a video about that when I get uh, when I get a minute. But as for right now, this is 620 Pro B9 permanent patch. First, I will show you that I am in version 620, and then you can go ahead connect your PSP to your computer. Alright, now, what you want to do is go into the PSP folder and then into the game folder. Alright, there's my game folder. And then open up the 620 Pro B9 uh, file that's in the description. Now, you're going to want to take your PSP in one window over here, the Pro B9 in another window over here and you want to take the pro permanent and drag that into your game folder so you get the 620 pro permanent and you want to get this one right here the pro update folder and drag that and drop it in your game folder so now you'll have 620 pro permanent and pro update in your game folder and then you can go ahead and disconnect your PSP. Now, you go over to the game section. You will have these two, 620 Pro B permanent patch and the Pro Update with the Pro Update background. Run this one first. This is what you'll see when you start this up. Now, it says X to launch, triangle to uninstall, L to reinstall, R to exit. You want to press X, and it will flash a bunch of files. And then it says press X, and your PSP will reboot. It would be in 620 Pro B9. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky. Now we have to install the permanent patch, right? There's the permanent patch. We'll run that. Oh, sorry. We'll run the permanent patch. Now you actually have to run the permanent patch application twice just to be safe. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Alright, now this says, by running this application, you accept all the risk involved. Are you going to install the patch? Press X. It says, the original VSH main.prx has been saved to MSO slash VHS orig.prx. Please keep it in a safe place. Now, it's going to ask you here if you want to have a test run of the fake VSH main. And then it says it's strongly recommended. Yes, you do. Trust me. Now, we're going to press X. Yes, we want a test run. Now it sends you back out to the XMD. I'm going to focus. Now if, if, when you do the test run, if it sends you back to the XMB and everything seems alright, the XMB is working, then you're all set to go ahead and actually install the patch. This is just a test run. You've actually installed nothing at this point. So you can go back into the game section and run the permanent patch application again. Because now you know if, if when you do the test run, if your PSP freezes, shuts off, anything like that, do not install the patch. You will brick your PSP. 
Alright, come on, focus. Alright, now this is the same thing we did before. Are you going to install the patch? Press X for yes. It'll tell you the same thing. Now it says you want to do a test run. Come on, you stupid camera. Do you want to do a test run? No, because we already did the test run. So you hit circle. Install completed. Exiting. So now you're all set. You have the permanent patch installed. Now, uh, to show you that it's permanent, we'll go into the VSH menu and go to Reset Device. Now, normally, on, on, under normal circumstances, this would remove the Pro Firmware, resetting the PSP like this. And it's still on Proby 9. Now, uh, one thing I want to show you. When you go into USB mode, okay, and open up your PSP, this is my memory stick. See this file up here, VSH Ridge? Copy that file to your computer somewhere, keep it in a safe place lock the file so nobody can delete it because if you ever want to uninstall the permanent patch if you don't have that file you're SOL shit out of luck you can't uninstall the permanent patch without that file I would recommend you leave it on your memory stick and never delete it and also copy it somewhere on your computer so that you have it it's safe and uh, if you ever need to remove the permanent patch you can do so so that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching this quick little Pro B9 permanent patch video. Uh, so yeah, make sure you comment, subscribe, like, leave some reactions. Love getting the reactions, although nobody seems to leave them. But yeah, that's it, that's it for now. Uh, check out sneaky-media.com for all your PSP ISOs, movies, all that garbage. And uh, sneakycodes.tk for all your Axe, Homebrew, firmware updates. It's always posted, so yeah. Sworn Leader, signing out.